you have started to dive into AI, you're starting to understand how this thing works, um, you don't have to spend forever brainstorming ideas, crafting the perfect caption, thinking about the best call to action language. All you need to do is prepare a specific prompt that really guides the way. Let's say you are an artist. You have a new art collection coming out. You want to announce it on social media. You can provide a prompt that includes the key details about your collection, like the theme, the medium used, the colors that you incorporated, the vibe behind the collection, include the tone that you want to carry into it, and that will really help you get the heavy lifting out of the way when you have AI help you with the post. Um, even better, the post variations because you can simply tweak them to make them yours. And not only will you have your post or plural posts, variations, uh, ready, but it'll have all the elements that you need, a catchy hook, an engaging description about the collection. It'll have people eager to check it out. And it can even add relevant hashtags to help you reach a wider audience. To create the most effective social media posts is to follow this power prompt. So your target audience, this is almost always going to show up. Who is this post intended for? What are their interests and demographics? And then your tone of voice. Is the post meant to be serious? Is it lighthearted? Is it inspiring? Is it informative? Knowing the tone of your post will help create the right voice for your brand. It will help you better tweak it to really make it yours on the output. Your call to action. So what do you want people to do after reading that post or seeing that post? Do you want them to visit your website? Do you want them to check out your collection, buy your art? Do you want them to add a comment to continue a discussion? Do you want them to share the post, you know? And then keywords and hashtags that are relevant, that's going to increase the visibility of your post searchability, things like that. You also include the post length. So how long should this thing be? If you say for like a Twitter post, then it automatically knows the character limit. So you don't actually have to look that up. It's pretty cool. But let's look at an example here. Okay, so let's say that I want to write a social media post about a new collection that I am releasing as an artist. So if I wanted to generate a truly effective post as close to my own voice as possible, I could input, act as a mixed media artist releasing a new collection on Tuesday. So the mixed media artist is the role and I'm being specific in when the release will be. I'm being clear on what it is that is happening and I'm being specific with the target audience. Continuing on your new collection features, these are going to be the key standout features, natural earth pigments that you foraged in nature yourself. The task here is to create a social media post and then I am including with an earthy vibe, that's saying what kind of vibe I want this to feel like, relayed in a casual yet insightful tone, so there's the tone that embraces connection to each other and to the earth. So that is giving that specific context that I want woven into this post. And then I specify to use relevant hashtags for original artwork and earth pigments. So I'm not putting the hashtags in here, but I'm giving keywords so that they get included. And then I go on to say that the post will go onto Instagram, that that is my format, two days before the launch and I've already listed that the launch is Tuesday, and it should include a call to action, that's my call to action, to get people to sign up to be notified of an exclusive early release before you give access to the public. So that is giving a very specific objective and detail for this post. So let's plug this in and see what we get. Okay, hey, let's take a look at this. I'm just going to change some things around. I'm going to, you know, write what I would write with my own excitement and more details. But you just, you can see how it really set up a nice framework. And that's what I was after because sometimes I just go blank. So I am editing this to make it my own. Now, one of the things I want to mention here real quick is, um, as I'm rewriting this, I'm seeing that some of my phrasing is repeated later. So one of the things that I like about Notion 
if you have Notion, is that it has an AI built into it, and you can do this in ChatGPT along with other ones, um, other AI, but I can highlight just this to have it reword it for me. So I can say ask AI and then you can make shorter, make longer, simplify and change the tone. You can also say improve writing. So this, it rewrote it as I believe that we all share a profound connection with the world surrounding us. Really what I need is world <laughs> to be changed, um, which I doubt would happen in this, but I just wanted to share that as an example of another way that you can use AI to your benefit. Sometimes we just need help rephrasing things or cleaning up the way that our writing came out. So it does great at doing things like that. So you can see how providing this information will help ensure that your post is optimized. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.